Hello guys, it's Kayla back at you with another video and in today's video we're going to be reacting to makeup hacks on Tic Tac. Tic Tac? Tic Tac. Yeah, Tic Tac. Yeah, okay. Tic Tac, not Tic Tacs. We're not talking about Tic Tacs today. <laughs> anyway, um, I found five videos that I would be reacting to, so... And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try these since I do already have makeup on, and I have a bunch of like sunscreen on my face, so we'll just watch them, and maybe I'll put these hacks in my life at some point, or my makeup routine, my life, whatever, same thing. All right, let's watch this first one once my computer loads. Can't get that last little bit of makeup out of the bottom of that container? Just wait. Don't throw it out. Find a sharp little tool. Run it across the edges. Pop up in the back. You'd be surprised by how much is still in there. I mean, I feel like that's actually a pretty smart way. Because I feel like when I have my makeup, like, and it's starting to run pretty low, that it's not, like... That, that I like I can't get the rest of it out of there so I've seen those TikToks with like you cut the lotion and and then there's still a bunch of lotion inside so I mean I feel like actually that's really smart now if I'm ever going to try that I don't know because I don't want to injure myself alright let's do this second one here sis I'm about to change your whole life so instead of putting concealer and bronzer on after your foundation, we're going to do it before. The key is to use a concealer that is much lighter than you would typically use. Now you're going to take your beauty blender and I like to use something to wet it. I don't use water. I like to use the Dewy Set Spray by Anastasia Beverly Hills. We're going to... I'm dramatic, I know. You're going to look like you just dumped your face in a bag of flour. That's okay. Now you're going to take a liquid bronzer shade that is much darker than you would typically use. At this point, you're probably going to scare yourself a little bit, but that's also okay. At this point, you should definitely be questioning me, but wait. Put your foundation on like you would normally do. This is what it looks like after foundation is on. Actually, that is really nice. Yeah, you know, there might there could have been other like editing factors that went into that, but you know, actually, I've always wanted to try that one. <laughs> I don't know if it will work that well, but I've always wanted to try it. So, maybe one of these days. Cuz I just I don't know if that would really work. All right, now under this third one. Cuz All right, this one's about, apparently about color theory. Which I've seen a few of these, and I'm not like super familiar. Like I know what color theory is, but like I'm a little like iffy on that. Like, I saw a video using color theory to make your perfect foundation, and I had to try it. First, you want to add white or black, depending on how light or dark your skin tone is. Now we're going to add yellow, red, and blue. I added more yellow because I'm more olive on the warmer side. I didn't add too much red because I was afraid of my skin looking too red. And then you want to add some blue because apparently everyone has some blue in their skin. Now it is time to blend everything together and watch what happens. You can use any brush you want. I'm using my normal foundation brush. And what in the world, you guys? Like, are you seeing this? It looks like foundation. This really blew my mind. I'm glad I tried it. If you guys try it out, tag me. I want to see. But wait until the final look. And there you go. Flawless skin, your perfect shade. That's part of how foundation is made. Not like made, made, but when you get your the color that's part of it, if that makes sense. Alright. Yeah, because so these ones I think I've I've seen where you know they do like translucent powder. Was it like setting spray or something like that? And then or your primer and then setting spray and then 
foundation and i've tried it it actually does look really nice if you wear makeup watch change your whole routine and try this instead moisturize first then after moisturizing take some translucent powder i usually use the fit me one and i just lightly dab it all over my face not too much then take some setting spray it could be any setting spray i usually use the nyx one after the setting spray take a primer and just put your primer also wait for the setting spray to dry first then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is gonna look and it's gonna stay on 24 7 and it's not gonna crease it's a technique that's probably model makeup hack instead of spending money on an expensive color corrector go to a drugstore and buy an orange lipstick blend finish your makeup and your eye bags will literally be non-existent <laughs> actually doesn't make your eye bags disappear i don't know like disappear disappear but like i do know that like it at least reduces it for some people or not like kind of erases it for the time being while they're wearing makeup because that's what i do when i'm uh when I, like i don't take a lipstick to my face but i do have color correct And that's the video I have for you guys for Saturday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you next week with two brand new videos.